Hey YouTube, it's Craig here, and I'm back with a, another video. Um, this one is going to be a little different. It's more of a unboxing of sorts. Um, to make a, a long story short, I bought a brick of cards on eBay, and um, it all looked perfect until I stacked all of the decks. So if you ever buy anything on eBay, make sure that you open it up, you check it out before you give the okay to the seller. Um, I actually bought two bricks of cards. Uh, the first brick looked perfect. The second brick, not so perfect. The second brick was actually every deck had com been completely opened and used and they were all dried out and they were all, you know, they weren't good. So I just got back from the post office, the seller, um, that, uh, luckily the guy is uh, refunding me and all that. But anyways, um, of all the decks, I ended up with one in that other brick box that was sealed that just seemed a little off. So I'm gonna go through and uh, talk about why I think this one is a fake. It looks really good. It's got the blue seal on it. Um, it's got the printing, but there was one thing that threw me off and that was the side. See how it just says air cushion made in the USA? This is the only deck that I've seen that doesn't say air cushion finish. It says just air cushion. But this is why this is, is it a fake? We're gonna find out and unbox it together. All right, so this is the deck in question. So like I said, um, I have some other variations, but I call these the fancy rider backs. These are from like the, mid to late 90s the it wasn't until 92 93 when they actually started adding the registered trademark logos onto the boxes and same on the bottom so bicycle with the registered trademark logo on there that wasn't added until the mid 90s and then over here i have the less fancy the reason why i call these fancy is because the the gold really pops on them whereas this one it's not as prevalent but these are the less fancy, um, late 1990s, early 2000s. If you look at the barcodes on the bottom, you'll notice that the less fancies are flopped, uh, flip flopped, and this is, these are the more common ones that you'll see nowadays. Now the ones in question, like I said, the first thing that popped out at me was the air cushion. The font is weird. If I have these uh, boxes lined up, you can even see that it's a little bit longer on this side. On the other side, it's way longer. A couple millimeters longer on this side. The fonts are a little thin. The gold doesn't pop quite as much. And the reason why I'm comparing this one to the fancy one, is because of the, where the barcode placement is. The font on poker is just, it's a little off. Also, look how tiny that registered trademark logo is. So there's just something off-putting about the, the fonts. You can even see on the suspected fake, like how more how oversaturated it is. It's very similar to the less fancy decks from the 2000s. The font is, uh, it's a, again, a little different. It's a little squished, a little thicker. These ones are more, they kind of look a little bit like tentacles. That's how I've uh, thought of it. But that's different. It's a little scrunched on the one that I'm thinking is fake. And then the other thing is the seal. So if you look at the font on the seal, this is a font that's very similar to the ones from the late 70s to the early 80s. Whereas this font is very, very, like this is 90s and 2000s all the way. If I compare it to Another deck, you can see what I mean. The font just seems a little off on this deck. So it's got a seal that looks like it's from the late 70s to 80s, but it can't be because the registered trademark logo didn't appear until at least 93. I've never seen another deck that has just air cushion. Even other bicycle decks, even these new decks, say air cushion finish on them. 
So I don't know. I'm very confused by it. We're going to open it up together and figure out whether or not this is a real deck or not. Let's see if I can just tear the top off. Oh, okay, this is coming off different. I just, there we go. Okay, I want to keep some of the cello on. Oh, the other thing that I forgot to mention is the tuck box. See, this is, see how they, they have these little flaps here? This one does not have those little flaps. This is like an older tuck design from, you know, before the 90s. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what it says on the tuck flap. 2002 United States Plain Card Company. Did they ever do copyright 2002 United States Plain Card Company on the tuck flap? It's got a weird long flap. Comparatively. To look up C, see if it is from 2002. Yeah, okay. Well, if it was a fake one, it wouldn't have. Uh... All right, I'm switching views here just to kind of go through this. I am very confused. I'm going to have to talk to. Lee Ashermore and find out what the heck this is. The deck is from 2001, going off the sea. It came with this Hoyle Casino Board Games um, ad card, which says um, you know, data 1999 to 2002, so that's accurate. This one's very confusing because it says um, save up to 35% of movie tickets. Uh, this expires on in June 2004, and on the back has this other thing that says this expires in 2011. Wow. I'm very confused by the tuck box and why it has the long flap that they discontinued in the 80s on something from 2002. It smells funny. The deck looks right. This a vintage bike deck. It, it's, it feels like a mishmash, though. Um... I'm very confused. I'm not sure what if this is real or not. Um, it's almost like the parts are real, but the packaging is fake. I don't know. It's a... Uh, you wouldn't really see one of these tuck flaps on something from the uh, 2000s, I don't think. But, yeah, crazy. Um, is it real? Is it fake? I can't tell you. I was ready for this to be 100% fake, and I have no idea what this is. Uh, as far as the cards go, they, they just they don't feel good. Um, I've been kind of messing with them a little bit. They're, they still haven't been shuffled, but as far as like thumb fans go, they get really clumpy. Um, and this was brand new, sealed in the cellophane, so I have no idea what happened or how they got like this. Um, I am almost 98% sure that it is actually a real, uh, thing, real deck. Um, it's just weird. Uh, I had a friend who sent me a picture of his, um, stripper deck that has the same box, but that's a stripper deck. Uh, I don't know. It's a weird variant that, um, I was talking to Lee Asher about and he didn't really know too much about it. The cards are from 2001. There's an ad card that goes all the way up to 2011 in there. Um, it's just a weird thing. Maybe they're made by Hoyle. Um, since there's a Hoyle ad card in there, they just don't feel right. They don't feel right. They don't look right. But um, based off of what I've seen, they're absolutely real. So weird variant. I guess that's how it goes. All right, guys. Thanks for checking it out. If um, you want to see more, 
uh, more stuff, check out my Instagram at Craig Rakanova. Peace. <laughs>